Hey, what's up you guys, Custom Made Graphics here and welcome back to another tutorial. In today's tutorial you'll be able to see that on the screen we have this sort of wireframe effect. Now this is a really nice effect to use on your 3D objects, it works really well with backgrounds and intros as well. Um, it's really simple to do and it can just add that little bit of extra flair to a project that you might be working on. So we're going to learn how to go ahead and do that. I've had this model a while from a background I did quite a long time ago. Um, so we're going to go to Cinema 4D, you'll see I've got my model opened here. I've um, got my light set up and everything. And what we're going to do first of all is go to Render and we're going to go to Render Settings and click New. Now this will give us a whole new sort of tab for Render Settings, obviously you can flick between these. Um, first of all what we're going to do is we're going to go to Effect and click on Cell Renderer we're going to go to the edge color and change that to white and set the background color to black we also need to check that the edges box here is ticked as that adds a few extra lines which makes it look a lot better next we need to go to output uh, we need to set the width and the height of our project as these will have been reset when we chose new render settings so I'm going to put these to 1280 by 720 there we go and just make sure we've got collect the correct frame selected. So we're going to go to save as QuickTime PNG or just the regular PNG if you've got it. Make sure alpha channel is selected and we're going to go choose where we're going to save it. So I've already made mine and saved it already. But once you've done that, all you'll have to do is go to... Let me just make sure I've got that. Yep, all you'll have to do is go to render and you'll see that it renders out in a wireframe like so. Then all you have to do is go back to your render settings, choose your originals and render out the original um, tiger, well say in my case it's a tiger head but render out the original object as a full sort of 3D image. Uh, we'll just wait for that to finish up real quick. Okay guys so that's finished rendering. Uh, next what we're going to do is we're going to go into Photoshop. Now obviously you can use any background you like. I've just whacked this backdrop in as an easy example to use. What we're going to do is we're going to go select both of these and drag them in at exactly the same time. That way we know they're placed in exactly the same position. Uh, so we'll hit enter and enter again. Now what you'll need to do is move the wireframe above the original layer. What we'll then have to do is go to the drop down menu up here and select screen. Now this removes all the black from in between the lines and you'll see there that we've got it as a sort of overlay over our original 3D object. Now also what you might want to do is just add a bit of drop shadow. So I'm going to go ahead and add that here and um, just play with these a little bit. And obviously you can play with the opacity of your lines and you can make them brighter. You can play with the opacity of the original image, bring that down a little bit, maybe just have it like slightly there, like that looks pretty cool. Or you can have it like not there at all and you can just have the 3D wire render. Now anyway guys, that just about wraps it up for this tutorial. If you guys have got any more suggestions you'd like to see from me, leave them down in the description and I'll get to them next week. If you want to submit your videos for Subscriber Sunday, go ahead and do that as well. And until next time guys, peace. Come on, let's move to the beat of the night